that keyframe and hopefully this this should uh, now um, keyframe it to be consistent from 1 to 19 as you can see 1.0 keyframe 1 1.0 keyframe 19 1.0 and finally keyframe 20 0 so basically um, you do need to go through um, you know, these keyframes here to make sure because otherwise what you'll get is um, the actual earth fading out rather than exploding rather than vanishing on the very last keyframe right so uh, make sure that's uh, sorted and once you've done your keyframes here turn off auto key because trust me if you leave that on any adjustments that you do now will add keyframes and you don't want that if you want you can place uh, um, a light inside the planet earth and basically this will cause um, a light reflection on the pieces as they blow out so if we go up to create lights standard lights omni uh, go to any viewport click on the center of the planet okay let's have a look in here right it's in the center there and it's in the center there um, but what you'll notice is that we don't actually have any other lights in this scene so this will completely black out right so what we need to do is create another light um, lights standard lights target spotlight and basically put this on the planet so that we have a light on it okay right if we just move forward let's have a look what we see if we render this okay can't really see it because there are too many pieces but there are lighter parts of the uh, the fragments here so to change the actual uh, light itself um, make sure that you select it okay where is it um, Omni okay uh, right click it and we'll set the multiplier to 4 so 4.0 refresh okay let's have a look at this now and see what we look like there we go as you can see the lot the, the parts are uh, blown up very very well they're a lot more brighter now okay right right the explosion uh, chunks do not look very very effective so what we're going to do is add a uh, a, um, a blur to them uh, we're going to give them quite a good blur so basically you won't be able to see the parts so clearly and it'll make a very very good effect to the actual render so make sure you select your um, PRA in uh, any viewport uh, I'm going to right click it and we'll go to object properties and on here you should find G buffer we want to change this to 2 okay select OK now we go up to uh, rendering effects add blur okay right scroll right down to the bottom here and we want to change it to a radial blur okay click on the pixel selections here turn off the uh, whole image button here and turn on object ID then you want to select this um, ID bit here change that to 2 and click add now this will now assign the blur to number 2 okay this is what we did when we um, went into the properties earlier on okay now you close this down right what you need to do is go up to graph editors select dope sheet which is in track view okay and you want to find your blur and here it is um, it's in your render effects here so make sure you um, tick that to bring up the blur select the blur okay then you want to move down until you find uh, blur radial pixel radius highlight it okay and then we want to go to number twin, uh, 19 sorry so around about there okay right click set a value to zero okay and do the same thing for the first one zero okay then on each of them hold this button down here and select this button here okay and the same for this one okay that's that one done okay now what we want to do is find a um, key number 28 
Uh, let's just move that along to find it. 28. Right click and set a value of 7. Okay, we'll leave that as it is. Okay. Right at the very end here, we're going to set a final keyframe and we're going to set that at 1.0. Okay. Right, now that you've done with that, let's just have a quick look halfway through the animation to see what we um, we have. That looks like a good point. Rendering render. Render. And there you have it. You've got a radial blur to your pieces, so it doesn't look like uh, they have too much detail now. And if we do another render right at the, uh, the end here, let's just do another render. You see the pieces aren't moving so far, so therefore there's no radial blur. Okay, well there we go, that's that's really it. Um, the one thing this lacks is an actual explosion. Now, if you um, export this as a PNG image sequence, you can actually add the explosion in After Effects. And um, yeah, you can do it that way. However, if you want to do it in 3D Studio Max, you need to have... Uh, an explosion video file uh, complete with um, um, an alpha video exactly the same as the explosion video you do get this with uh, 3D Studio Max 9 um, it's in your library but um, we'll just go through doing that bit now okay right okay move to um, keyframe number 20 because this is when the explosion actually kicks in okay 